welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing three color Christmas painting makeover part two. that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because if I get 100 subscribers by Christmas I have a really fun and exciting video idea also make sure to go check out my Instagram I will link it in the description box down below and my Instagram name will pop up right here and if you enjoy this video and think that your friends or family might like it make sure to go share it so in this video, I have the gingerbread house that I will be painting and also a Santa Claus hat. If you want to go check out the first three color Christmas painting makeover, I will link it in the description box down below. So this video is going to be a little different. Instead of just having the Christmas colors, I have all of the paints here. So I am now going to pick three of them for the gingerbread house. So the three colors I'm going to pick for the gingerbread house is this red, this green, and I think my last color I'm going to pick is going to be this blue. So now on to the second round which is glitter. There is a pink, a white, and a gray glitter. And then this is just like a clear coat over the painting I could use instead of a glitter. So for the gingerbread house I think I'm going to pick the pink glitter. The last round is paint pens and I have a white, a black, a gold, a silver, a pink, a red, a blue, a brown, a purple, an orange, a yellow, and a green. So I get to pick one out of all of these. And I think I am going to pick the brown. So for the gingerbread house, I'm going to be picking the brown paint pen. just finished cleaning everything up and this is my final gingerbread painting I really like it I hope you do too I did make some of the colors because using only those three colors to do this entire painting is really really hard so I used I make some colors but yeah so I used the brown to um, outline the house and for the pathway I used the red for the M&M's. I used the glitter for the grass. You can see it has glitter in it. And then the glitter is also on the house. The blue is in the background. 
and the green is the M&Ms, the wreath, the lights, and also the grass. I did actually use some white because I got some paint down here that I didn't mean to get on there. And then I started doing the, the wreath um, red, and then I realized a wreath is green. So I um, ended up using a little bit of white just to touch up those little accidents. Now it is time for painting number two. So if you like these videos I've been doing the, with the part one and part two, make sure to go tell me over on the discussion page because if you all are enjoying them, I will definitely do more of them. So it is now time for me to pick the three colors I'm going to use for the Santa hat. And like I said before, I'm allowed to mix them because it is hard to paint things um, with only three colors. So I'm going to pick the red for the Santa hat, the white for the Santa hat, and I think I'm going to pick the blue. So it is now time for me to pick my um, glitter. And I have a white, a silver, and just like a, um, a clear. So I don't want the clear because I just don't really want a clear. Um, and it's between these two. And for the Santa hat, I think I'm going to pick the white. So now my last round, I'm going to pick one paint pen and it is between these two. I think, I think I'm going to pick the gold. you do too. I did have a couple mess ups along the way. Down here I accidentally painted red and it's supposed to be white. I just got the colors mixed up. And then right here I got a little blue with the red but that's okay. So I used the white there and there. I used the red for the main part of the hat. I used the blue for the background. I used the glitter on top of the background. You probably have already noticed the glitter. And then I used the gold paint pen around the hat. I really, 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 really like these. And I really hope you do too. They were um, a little more work than the last ones I did. But they did come out, I think, better. Um, if you want to see my other ones that I did in the other video, I will link it in the description box down below. So yeah, I forgot to say this at the beginning, but my last video was my 50th video. I thought this video was going to be my 50th, but um, last video was my 50th, and this is my 51st video, which is so crazy that I've done 50 videos. Um, I'm halfway to 100, which is crazy. Also, I recently have been doing my channel for one year, which is also crazy. So thank you all so much for your support. But now, this is the end of my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And please share this with your friends and family. Bye!